we had the whole family in Bree's kitchen. So this week, I'm all by myself. Yes, this week, I'm all by myself in the kitchen. And I'm about to make some very, very interesting. And good morning, Shelly. I see you coming in on Instagram. Good morning to you. I think you're in Jamaica, right? Yeah, I think Twine told me you went to Jamaica. And good morning, Mr. Ennis. How are you? I see you on my live. And Patrick, it's yes, blessed New Year's Eve to you. Good morning, Audrey. And Audrey, are you still in Jamaica? Because you seem like you're having a good time over there and you don't want to come back to New York. Alrighty, guys. So this morning, my kettle is boiling, as you can hear. And, um, you know, I like to start out the morning with my tea. So this morning, guys, I'm making the organic green tea this morning with Manuka honey and mango flavor. Yes. And guess what, Audrey? I got my creamer. Yes, I ordered my creamer. They didn't have the flavor that you introduced me to, but I bought the vanilla chai and it's very, very delicious. Audrey said, why would I come back? Is it sunny over there in Jamaica? Well, the weather here is not so nice today. Outside looks very depressing. So guys, Audrey introduced me to this creamer. It's a collagen creamer. It has no sugar. It's dairy free. It's keto friendly. Um, and it's soy free as well. It's very delicious. I like the taste. It has a mild taste. Good morning, Auntie. I see you coming in live from Florida. And Judith from Jamaica. Hey, hey. I'm gonna come on in Acelia's kitchen this morning. Because I'll be your things. I'm gonna go on and finish this morning, you know. <laughs> yes, guys. All right, so I'm gonna start off by making my little tea here. And um, I'm making some organic honey tea with manuka honey and beer things infused in it. Yeah, you know, I try to keep on the healthy side. And of course, I'm going to put some of this collagen creamer in my, because you know, guys, as you get older, your body needs collagen. You see all those little sagging under the arm and the legs and the neck. Yeah, man, you need collagen. And the joint pains, the collagen is so good for the joint pains. I learned so much about collagen these days. I'm reading a lot and I'm doing a lot of research. So guys, I'm gonna add a scoop of this collagen creamer. But Audrey, by the way, why this thing is so darn expensive? $35 for this? Why I'm in enough, we can't keep up with it, but I'll try. But it's expensive, very expensive. So, I like my creamer, so I found a substitute. It's very delicious. It's very tasty. It's sugar-free. It doesn't have the sugar. And it makes me feel good. Gives me a good feeling after I'm done with it. Alrighty, so let me taste this and see how it tastes now. Mmm, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tastes very good. All right, because I don't have much counter space over here, I'm resting it on the stove top. All right, guys, so this morning, I know you must have seen my post. Um, this morning, I will be making some collie wings. Yes, yeah, so instead of chicken wings, I'm using cauliflower, some little cauliflower branches here, to make some collie wings. Yes, we are doing some plant-based stuff today. And I came up with the idea... Because, you know, I like to play with my toy over here. My waffle maker. I call it my toy. So I decided to make some sorrel waffles this morning. Never made it before. I thought out the recipe in my head. And let's see how that comes out. So I kind of prepped myself by making a little sorrel puree over here. And my Herbalife protein baked good mix. And I have my spices, so I'm just going to whip it up with some eggs and stuff and see how it comes out. And then I decided to make a nice caramel ginger um, syrup or sauce or whatever you call it to pour all over it. And this morning when I was dropping off twine, I went in Aldi's and I saw this. So I'm going to say, oh, them strawberry, I look so white. <laughs> Guys, I'm, well, I guess it's the strawberry cousin our auntie. But when I read the packet, it said pink, pinkaboo 
um, ripe and ready to eat pine berries. So they're called pine berries. I've never eaten these before. It's my first time trying it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this with some strawberries to top my waffles this morning when I'm doing my display. So we're going to see how pine berry tastes this morning. <laughs> well, it comes from the strawberry fam family, I'm assuming, because it looks like a strawberry. Only that it's white with the little dots all over it. All righty. All right. So let's get cracking. All right. So here I have a whole bowl of cut up cauliflower. And what I'm going to do, I have some um, garlic in this. This is my ice jug because the reason why I have to use this, because when I'm using my grinder, I tend to splash. So I, I had to find something kind of deep and something that won't break. So I have some cilantro in here, some pieces of onions, some pieces of peppers, some pieces of garlic, some pieces of onion and onions as well. So I'm just going to grind this up to a paste. Then I'm going to add some Add one egg, whip it up in it, dip my, um, season this, then I'm going to dip it all, pour it all over or dip it all over, whichever way I decide when I'm ready. And then we're going to throw it in the air fryer. Yes. So I'm going to air fry my collie wings this morning. LT will say. All right. So let's get cracking. All right. So before I start with this, you know what? Let me season this first with my powder seasoning. So I'm using this morning Grace Ginger Garlic Pimento Seasoning. So I'm pouring this all over my cauliflower. And then I'm using some onion powder. And this onion powder came out of Aldi's. And Aldi's uh, Mrs. Dash knockoff, garlic and herb. Why Mrs. Dash gets expensive in us? So I have, um, have to economize. Tastes the same way, no different. And of course, a little adobo. So I'm seasoning the cauliflower pieces just the same way I would season some chicken wings. So that's why I call it cauliflower wings. Because last week, you know, when Uncle Barry came over, Uncle Barry said, uh, Uncle Mikey sent a message to give me that I should start preparing more plant-based recipes because people you know, is getting away from the red meat and the meat and the, all these things. And especially after the holiday, after eating so much meat and stuff, you know, you want to go on the healthy side a little bit. So that's why I decided to make these collie wings this morning. All right. So let me grind up all my seasonings here. I have my device all plugged in and ready to go right here. So I'm just going to grind these up. I hope it don't splash out because it's always splashing. <laughs> This thing will never want like never want to stop. All right, guys. So as you can see, I grinded up all the the peppers and the onions and the garlic and everything. So now I'm gonna whip one egg inside. So I'm just gonna mix in one egg, and the egg is optional because if you don't want to, if you're vegan, if you're full vegan and you don't want to use the egg, this is already soft and mushy, so you don't have to add the egg. But I'm adding the egg because I'm going to I'm gonna be um, basing it with some breadcrumbs as well. So you want that crisp on the outside, just like, you know, when you're biting into a piece of chicken. So I want it to have that kind of texture on the outside. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pour all of this over my collie wings. Don't want to waste anything. Want to get all this little season. I said the thing strong, you guys, because I had onions in it. And you know, when you cut up onions, sometimes it burn your eyes. So I just want to make sure everything is all covered. 
So this is well seasoned, guys. So I added the powder seasoning on the cauliflower, and then I add this mixture of all my herbs all over it. Not touching it. So I just want to make sure everything gets covered. Every bit of cauliflower gets covered because if it's not covered, it's not going to taste good. <laughs> All right, guys. So now that my cauliflower pieces are covered, and good morning, Karen. Good morning, good. Now that my cauliflower pieces are covered, guys, I have my um, I have my breadcrumbs over here. So this morning I'm using the panko breadcrumbs, the crusty ones. Because remember, I told you when I when you bite into this cauliflower piece, I want it to have that crunch just as if you were biting into a piece of chicken. All right. So let me take up this cutting board because I don't know why it's even here. It have no use today. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be dipping um, each piece of cauliflower in the breadcrumbs. And then I'm going to be putting them in the air fryer to cook. Let me wash my hands. Or should I get a gloves in Let me get a glove. Uh, let me get a glove. So I'm getting a glove, guys. You know, I keep it real over here. Let me dry my hands. So I'm just going to use one glove because I just need to take up the piece of chicken wing. Good morning, Monica. Good morning, Pastor Ryan. How are you? Welcome to my live. So for those of you who are just joining this live this morning, I am making some collie wings. Yeah, no meat, no chicken, collie wings. All right, guys. So I'm just going to be dipping this in the breadcrumbs. And then I'm going to place each piece in the air fryer. But before I do, I'm going to add a little grapeseed oil in the bottom of the air fryer so I could get that crisp on the cauliflower. So I'm adding a little bit. Oh, something falling out my hair. I'm, I'm, I'm adding a little bit of oil. I touched my hair. Let me wash my hands um of oil in the air fryer all right so i'm just gonna sprinkle some breadcrumbs all over these cauliflower pieces and then i'm gonna drop them in the air fryer so let's see how this comes out all right Let me sip some tea as I go along. Oh, this tea is delicious. I'm a tea person, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, I could open a tea shop with the amount of teas that I have in my kitchen. Some girlfriends came by the other day, you know, guys, and they couldn't believe I have so much tea in here, you know, man. We just tell them to take some because... I don't know when I'm going to drink off all these teas because everybody that normally go away to England or whenever they travel, they always bring me back boxes or packets or pans of teas because they know I like tea. I'll, not like, I love tea. I love tea. All right. So my collie wings. Oh, this one needs to be covered some more. Ooh, this one needs some of the gooey gooey on it. <laughs> So even though we're Jamaican, guys, we can um, make other dishes interesting and put a twist to it with a little Jamaican recipe or a little Jamaican touch to it. This one needs some more goo on the side, so let me dip it again. Let me dip it in all this goo here. All right, guys. So my air fryer can hold so much. Um, I probably have space for like two more pieces. 
but I'll save the other pieces for tomorrow or later on or so in this mixture here. I'll just leave it and it will be well marinated in the goo. And then my breadcrumbs is almost finishing too, so perfect. So I have just enough to fit in the air fryer. Yep. All right, so this is my last piece that I'm gonna be dipping and putting in the air fryer. All right, so my air fryer is ready to go. So I'm putting it at 370 because I want it to cook fast. Good morning, Sister La Beach. Celicia Jolly say, I'm sipping on my ginger tea. Yes, girl, we have to drink our tea in the morning. And I love ginger tea too. They're not cooked. I got my answer. What's that? Oh, somebody was asking if the cauliflower was cooked. Good morning, Babsy. I think I see my cousin on live too earlier, Sharon. All right, guys. So I'm throwing, oh, I forget it's ready already. You know, I said I was about to throw. All right, so I'm putting my air fryer at 370. And let's hit start. Uh, so I gave it 17 minutes. Shouldn't take that long because remember, I wanted to also have a little crunch, not overly cooked, but a little bit of crunch in it, like a 5% like a crunch. Let me remove these gloves and let me remove this from this area. Let me rest this over here. Let me clean this area a little bit. My paper towel is finishing. I think I have another roll. How many of you like the beef paper towel? It's my favorite. It's like a piece of cloth. <laughs> you could just wet it. You could wipe anything, you know? I love my V paper towel, but they're so expensive. I'm telling you. So most time we just work with the bounty, but whenever it's on sale or the price is not too bad, I grab I grab a couple um cases because they're very expensive. All right, guys. So my um my color wings are going. So I'm gonna be dipping some of them, not all of them, in a sauce. Now, this is my favorite sauce, but it's hard to get. This came all the way from Canada. It's called the Diana sauce. So those of you on this live this morning who travel to Canada or you're watching from Canada, you know the sauce. It's the Diana sauce, and this is the original um, flavor. They have, I think, garlic. They have barbecue and a few other flavors. But I like this flavor and the garlic flavor. Those two are my favorites. So I'm just opening this bottle and thanks to Elwood who went to Canada and brought me back this bottle of Diana sauce. She said, what was the brand of the paper towel, please? Oh, Vive. Vive? Vive or Viva? Let me look at a packet. Hold on. Oh, no, it's Viva. My bad. It's Viva. It's V-I-V-A. So Monica, the brand is called Viva. Best paper towel ever. I can't get off this thingy. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix some sauces here. So I'm mixing some Diana sauce. And I'm just pouring it in a saucepan. And then where's my sweet and sour sauce? I thought I took it out. Oh, sweet and sour sauce. I thought I took it. Oh, it's hiding down the paper towel because I know I took it out. And this is the Berman's sweet and sour sauce, stir fry sauce from Aldi's. So I'm mixing two sauces together. I'm not using any tomato ketchup. And this is the last drop of the sauce. And of course, you know, when we use the last drop of anything, we have to wash out the bottle. Yeah. Yeah, Jamaica now. That's why we now my little. Make sure you get every ounce out the bottle. <laughs> So I'm combining two sauces together 
And then I'm adding some garlic and herb to this sauce. Yeah, man, may I, may I, may I fix it up. And then I'm going to add some orange pepper. Ah. You know, guys, I took my orange pepper with me to Florida last week when we had the cook-off, you know. And my son was packing it away in the cupboard. And I'm like, mm -mm, this, this, this season is hard to get. I'm not sure I'm going to get another bottle right now. I'm taking it back to New York. Give him a, give him a seasoning. <laughs> he was laughing. All right, so I'm adding some orange pepper by Badia to this, to this mixture. And I'm just going to stir this in. So I'm just leaving the sauce to cook for a little bit. Let me rest this on the spoon rest right here. And now I'm going to be making my sorrel waffles yes guys i want to follow me so i'm not making a lot guys because you know it's just me and twine and the waffles they don't taste so good when you eat them the next day i mean it all depends well my waffles i like them fresh freshly made why does have two scoops let me get rid of one all right so i'm using the herbalife protein bake good mix so instead of using flour, guys, this is what I'm using, the Herbalife. So I'm going to be using um, three scoops because I'm not making a lot. You know what? Let's do four. So I added four scoops. I'm going to burst two eggs inside. I'm not even check if the eggs are good enough, but I know the eggs are good. Um, and then I have my sorrel puree. But before I add my sorrel puree, I think I want to add some almond flour to this. I didn't take it out, but it's right here. So I have some almond flour. It's gluten-free. Um, it's non-GMO and the whole nine yards, all the healthy stuff. <laughs> So I'm just opening a pack of this. Um, let me add about a quarter cup. So I'm not really measuring, measuring anything, guys. I'm just using my judgment. Because, you know, we Caribbean people, sometimes we don't like to measure. We just use our judgment. And that's what I'm doing right now. All righty. So I'm just going to mix this together. But before I do, I'm going to be adding some almond milk. Because you do need milk when you're making waffles. And of course, we Caribbean people, we like our spice. And guys, I don't know if you remember that bottle with the yellow mixture in it that I was talking about a couple of months ago. That I went to Novelet's house and took out of her cupboard. My friend Jackie Bennett from Jamaica, most of you know her as Jackie Dale, yes, she sent this bottle with my dad for me. She owes me another two bottles, but I'll, I'll wait until them come, but I'll be, I'll be, this is so precious to me, uh, you know, I'm not sharing it, so don't call and ask me for any. It's an um, uh, almond rose concentrate, so it's a mixture of almond essence and I think rose water. Because, you know, we used to use rose water back in the days to bake. But this has a unique um, flavor. And it's the same mixture but in a different bottle. The same company. So I'm just adding a little bit of that in my waffle mixture. And then I'm going to be adding some vanilla. Because if you're eating waffles, you want to make sure it tastes good, right? And, of course, I'm adding a little bit of baking powder. Not a lot. Because... It already have a raisin agent in it, which which are, you know, the two eggs that I just added, you know. So I add like about a teaspoon of baking powder. And the last, in, the, the second to last ingredient I'm going to add to this is some cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon. Mm, mm, mm. What tastes so good without cinnamon? All right, so I'm slowly mixing this together to a paste. 
Oh, my collie wings smell great, guys. So I'm mixing this to a paste, guys. And then I think I want to add my sorrel concentrate. So guys, this is sweetened with some honey and um, some ginger. So the color is going to be changing to red because, you know, sorrel has a very potent red color. So we're going to be eating some red waffles up in here today day so this is looking good already Woo! sorrel waffles jesus come help us and i'm gonna be adding some more oops fell So guys, this is looking so good already. This is looking so delicious already. It smells good too. It smells great. So I'm just going to add a little bit more sorrel. And I think I want to add a little bit more milk, guys, because... I need to clean my hands a little and clean as I go along. This felt, oh, let me put this in the sink. All right, I think I want to add a little more milk to this, guys, because, you know, when you're making pancakes and waffles, it's have to have a certain texture. So I'm adding a little bit more almond milk. Because you want to get the texture right, you know? You want to get the texture to the right consistency. Because if the consistency is not right, it's going to come out like a piece of board. Uh, Sandra says, Grace said, instead of me doing all that work, can I just pay you as my personal chef? <laughs> Grace, you got jokes. <laughs> she said, I love Jamaican almond essence. Lisa, you need to get this one. I'm going to send you a picture after the live. You need to get this one. If you go to Jamaica, go downtown um, near Carnation Market, I think, or um, near Orange Street. I think they said it's sold. You could get this in any of the little wholesales down there. And it's very, very good. All righty, so I get it to the right consistency, guys. So I have my sorrel uh, mixture here. I have my sorrel mixture here. Oh, Shelly says she's on the plane. Oh, wow, she's on her way to Jamaica and she's watching me on live. Wow. What flight are you on, JetBlue? <laughs> Sandra said, E, sound like he would be a sinner, man. I didn't send it to the waffle mix. <laughs> you funny, Sandra. All right, all right, guys, so my waffle mix is ready. Let me wash my hands, because I hate when my hands are dirty. Let me get rid of some of the clutter right here. Let me put my gloves back under the sink. Let me remove all these seasonings right here so I get more space. Guys, I need a bigger kitchen. <laughs> so let me put away the stuff I'm not using. Uh, this is garbage. All right, so we get a little bit more space. All right. So let me grab my waffle uh, maker right here. I'm going to have to put my air fryer back. Put this in front. Let me see if I can plug this up. All right. So here we have it. My waffle maker is ready to go. Oh, okay, so this is the front. 
Why, guys? It's like it's like every time I take up this toy, I don't know how to to work it. <laughs> uh, I used to have to use this. All right, guys. Great. All right. So I have my waffle maker ready. I need to spray it. Ugh. So I'm spraying it with some grapeseed oil, guys. Because you know you don't want the waffle to stick. You really don't want the waffle to stick. So I'm just going to put my first... You know what? Let me use a scoop. Because this spoon thing not going to work for me today. And you know I keep it real in my kitchen. So we don't want to put too much because we don't want it to seep over the side of the waffle maker. So I'm going to close this and spin it around. And when it's ready, my green light will come on and tell me that it's cooked. So my sorrel waffles are cooking right now. All right. So while that is being cooked, guys, I turn off my sauce. My sauce is ready for my... Um, my collie, my collie wings. And right now, I'm going to make a little topping to put on top of the waffles over my pine berries. So, I found this in the Korean store. It's called ginger beer syrup. Because, you know, sorrel and ginger goes together. So, I just thought to myself that I would make a nice ginger sauce to put on top of the sorrel. Oh, may I go make it? Only the good Lord knows, my creation. All right. So let me start out with some butter. Oops, I took out the wrong thing. Let me start out with some butter, some plant-based butter. So I'm melting some plant-based butter in there. Because, you know, you want it to be nice and... um and buttery and then i'm gonna add a little bit of the ginger beer syrup so guys don't tell me i'm crazy and then to thicken it i have some caramel sauce over here by goodrelly so i'm gonna add some oh i didn't open yet this one yet oh wow It's kind of hard to open. Ooh, why are you giving me trouble? They seal this thing so, so well. All right, guys. So I'm adding some caramel sauce to this. And then I'm going to grate some ginger just to make it nice and gingery. So I have my ginger right here. Um, oh, I think I put too much mixture in here. It's coming through the sides, guys. But I can always wipe it. Smells good, though. All righty. So let me turn my fire down. I'm just going to grate some ginger pieces in this sauce. Oh, guys, it's finished. Okay, great. So now I'm going to be dipping them in the sauce and I'm going to put it back in there for five minutes or less. All right. So I'm just going to grate some pieces of ginger in this mixture right here. Because, you know, you need a little topping for the waffles. So this is organic ginger, guys. It's very potent. I'm grating it and it's burning my eyes. And you can't make anything with sorrel and don't add, you know, the ginger. The ginger just, just does something to the taste and the flavor. All right. I don't think I need any more. I have enough. All right. 
So I'm just going to mix in these pieces of ginger that I added to the sauce. And then I'm going to, oh, it's not ready. And then I'm going to drop my pine berries. I already washed them in the sauce. So I'm not cooking the pine berries. I just want it to get infused in the sauce for a little bit. And I think I might add some strawberries to it. Let me add some. Let me wash. I think I washed it. Yeah, I washed these already. I washed these already. So I don't need to wash it again. So I'm going to add some strawberries to this as well. But I'm splitting these pieces of strawberry. So I have pine berry and strawberry infused in this sauce right here. All right. So my, um, I, I was about to say my chicken wings. My chicken wings are ready. I want to burn my counter. So I just rest this right here. So I'm just going to take out each piece and then I'm just going to dip it in and dip it back in the air fryer. Ooh, it's like you're holding a piece of chicken. Matter of fact, make my life easier. Let me just pour this over it. This is too much work. I have to work smart, but not hard. Right, guys? So I pour my sauce all over the wings, over my collie wings. And let's see how this is going to look afterwards. All right, so I'm just going to stick this back in there for about five minutes or so. All right, so let's give it five minutes. So I'm just giving it five minutes so the sauce can get dried onto the pieces of cauliflower so it will have that nice, delicious look. Okay? All right. So I have my sauce ready for my waffles. And let me clear this area. I'm just going to do one waffle as a display in the interest of time. Or I might just do two. Uh, I don't want to overdo this. I don't think it's ready yet. The green light didn't come on. Let me not open it. I don't want to cause any trouble. All right. So I have my platter ready and I'm just waiting on my, um, my collie wings and my waffles to cook. So let's see. All right, guys, so I have one prize to give away today, and this is my last prize for the year. So it's going to be a question of something that um, I made last week. Yes. So if you were watching the cook-off last week um, and you were paying attention, um, you will be able to, to win this prize today. So the prize today is a bottle of Jamaican rum cream come all the way from Yad. Yes, it came from Jamaica. A bottle of rum cream and a pack of this chocolate. Yes, if you know that this is one of my favorites, Ferrero Rocher. Yes, that's my favorite. So if you answer the correct answer to the question I'm about to ask, you win this prize. And this is the final prize for the year. Today is the last Saturday of the year. So I was given gifts from Thanksgiving right down to the end of the year. So last week at the cook-off, last week at the cook-off, they made, my opposing team made a special drink. They made a special drink. 
what was the name of that drink they made that, that they put in the blender and make what what was the main ingredient what was the main ingredient they use to make that drink what was the main ingredient they used to make that drink and if you answer the question correctly you win that prize Good morning, Joan. I just see you popped up on the live. And uh, uh, Carmen. Yeah, I, I forgot about Carmen. All right, guys. So my waffle is indeed ready. My waffle is indeed ready. So let's open it and see. Uh, why is it not opening? Uh, I love the thing too much. All right, guys. So my waffles are ready. It's looking great. Let's take it off. Let's see if it's cut. Oh, so it kind of have a reddish look. <laughs> it kind of have a reddish uh, brownish look. Let me cut off the edges because it was seeping over the side. Let's get rid of the extra edges around this waffle. So my waffle came out good, guys. But I don't know how it tastes. But I'm assuming it should taste good because it's sorrel. All right. So let's get rid of the excess pieces around the edge. I'm just going to throw this in the sink. I'm just going to clean this off. Okay, guys, so my waffle, my first set of waffle is ready. Let me put a second set on. Let me spray this little bad boy here. All right, so I'm making waffle number two. Another set of waffles. So I need two sets of waffles. Good morning, Chiselle. How are you? Miss wife to be? Yes. Congratulations. She's engaged, guys. All right, guys, my collie wings are ready. I'm just waiting on the second set of waffles. Ooh, them look good. And this is hot, 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 hot as can be. All right. So my collie wings are looking good, guys. They're looking very, 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 very good. And let me get a fork. They're looking very delicious. They look like buffalo wings. They look like buffalo wing guys. Mm. They look like buffalo wings. Ooh. So I'll just leave those two little pieces in. Okay, guys, so here you have it. My collie wings are ready. They smell so good. They smell so good. They smell so, so good. So guys, I can't show you yet because I need to wait on the second set of waffles. Oh, it says it's ready. Wow, that was quick. That was quick, quick, quick. Okay, that waffle was ready so fast. Oops, oops. oops. All 
All right, guys, my break feast is ready. So now I'm going to be topping this with my pine berry fruits and my ginger syrup. Mmm. Wow, look at this. Isn't this presentation great? And to top off my, my wings, guys, I have some pieces of scallion that I'm just going to garnish my wings with, you know, just for presentation purposes. Yeah, presentation purposes. Ooh, look at this. Look at this feast. Look at this feast, guys. So I have my sorrel waffles, my cauliflower wings, which I call my cauli wings. And this is what break feast looks like today. So if you like what we cook today, guys, I want a thumbs up on this live. I want to see some hearts going up. I want to see some hearts going up if you like this presentation. Yep. So now I'm going to taste it for you and tell you how it tastes. <laughs> Never made sorry waffles before. It's my first time making it. So let me get a paper plate because I don't want to mess up anything else. So I'm just going to take this little waffle on the side right here. I'm going to take a pine berry to go on top. And I'm going to take, let me take this from the back. Because, you know, I have to take pictures to put to post. So, guys, I'm going to taste this for you and tell you how good this waffle tastes. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Guys, this tastes really good. You can taste the sorrel. You can taste the ginger sauce on top. Mmm. This is indeed delicious, guys. Mmm. Boy, may I tell you, I wish you guys were here to taste this. Mm-hmm. And let me taste my collie wings for you now and tell you how good it tastes. Mmm. I can't wait to go devour this. Mmm. Guys, may I stop eating chicken? <laughs> Mmm. I feel like I'm going to stop eating chicken. I'm going to go vegan. This is so delicious. I don't miss the meat. Mmm. The spices, the seasonings, you could taste everything on this waffle. Miss Joyce, you say, must be delicious. It is delicious, Miss Joyce. It's, it, it is indeed delicious. Mmm. Guys, my collie wings are indeed delicious. I don't miss chicken wings this morning. Good morning, Pastor Miguel. She, she said, can't wait to try collie wings. Yes, you should try it. Tell Fiona to, Sister Fiona to make it for you. She said, wine was the main ingredient for the drink. Um, no, I'm talking about the drink that the, um, Twine's team made, not my team. And pine berry indeed tastes good, guys. It tastes like strawberry. Mmm. So guys, if you like what we cooked in Seely's Kitchen today, I want you to like this video, share this video, and if you're not yet subscribed, oh, this is Sister Fiona. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, Sister Fiona, you need to try this recipe. It's really, really good. If you're not yet subscribed to Seely's Kitchen YouTube channel, guys, I don't know what you're waiting on. You're missing out on all the interesting creativity from Seely. Yes, like this morning. Never made this dish before. 
thought it out all day yesterday, what I'm going to make today. And this is what I decided to make. So I made you some sorrel waffles because it's the season for sorrel. And instead of going meat today, I went vegan. I made some cauliflower wings. I call it cauliflower wings. So guys, you need to try this recipe, share this recipe with all your family and friends. Eating healthy nowadays is the best thing because every second person that you talk to or speak to these days, oh, my friend have cancer, my mother have cancer, my father. Cancer is the killer. And why? Because it's the foods that we're eating. Cut off of some of the red meat. Trust me, the acids in the red meat is what's feeding those cancer cells in your body. And that's how people get in cancers on a daily basis. Yes, man. Pineapple sorrel. No, it was a creamy drink, guys. It was a creamy drink. So nobody won the prize before I go. If you give me one ingredient that was in the drink that they made, then pineapple was their main ingredient. Yes, Sandra, you're correct. The pineapple was the main ingredient. The pineapple was the main ingredient. That was the main ingredient. Um, Joan said pineapple, sorry. Okay, so um, I guess Sandra won the prize this morning. Sandra won the prize this morning. So Sandra, oh, Sister Jolly said coconut. Yes, that was a main ingredient too. So it was actually pineapple coconut. So you know what, guys? Sister Jolly, I owe you a rum cream. I think I have another bottle over there. All right, so for, for giving a partial answer, Sister Jolly, you want a bottle of rum cream? And Sandra... Because you first answered the question and I didn't think that, you know, anybody would win. I st I'm still giving you both of these prizes. But Sister Jolly won also another bottle of rum cream that I have over there. All the way from Jamaica. All right? So, if you like what we cooked today in Sealy's Kitchen, I want you to give me a thumbs up, like this video, share this video. And if you're not yet subscribed to Sealy's Kitchen YouTube channel. I don't know what you guys are waiting on. So I'm asking all of you on this live to share today's live with your friends and tell them about these sorrel waffles and my collie wings. Yes, guys, and please go and try the recipe because these chicken wings, them taste but it's second to none, may I tell you. I can't wait to come off this live to go eat this, drink my tea, and burp. <laughs> so, Happy New Year to all my viewers and my subscribers on this live this morning, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Happy New Year when it comes. I hope you make New Year's um, resolutions and stick to them. And I want you all to keep supporting Sealy's Kitchen. And good morning, Kima. I see you just popping up. Say hi to my big friend, Jason. <laughs> she said, looking back, you'll see I answered you. But miss seeing, miss seeing, no worries. Okay, no, Sandra, you won the prize. All right, so guys, I want all of you, as Jamaicans would say, to walk good. So today is not such a great day outside because outside look bleaky, as Jamaicans would say. I want you to make the best of it. Enjoy the weekend. Prepare for the new year. If you're going to church tomorrow, praise the Lord and have a happy new year. Happy New Year, okay? Tell Jason I'm going to call him after I get off this live. All right? So, guys, take care. Walk good. I'm going to eat my collie wings now and get out of here because I have to go meet a friend before he leaves for Washington. All right? So, take care on yourself, guys. And thanks for joining the live again. Bye-bye.